Boom, coming in hot, Chinchy. How we feeling, cuz? Coming in hot. What is that? Is that a? Do you have a mock turtleneck? No, there's a. No, no, it's like a. It's just like a. It's a, like a sweatshirt that comes up. No, that's good. Wait, let's talk mock turtlenecks. Oh, dude, dude, did you Super wear mock quick. turtlenecks? Did you no. wear mock turtlenecks? Yeah, you no. did, bro. Yeah, you did. No, I fucking Sixth didn't. Sixth grade, Chinchimino wore mock turtlenecks with me. a sweater that on top. That insults me because why? <laughs> I hate them. The only people that should wear more mock turtlenecks are very tall men with dark hair who kind of look like they could have been Batman. <laughs> or executives of, like, a uh, tech firm. <laughs> Nobody else should wear a mock turtleneck. I hate it. Wait, it makes and, me mad and, when I and see wait, mock did you the mock turtleneck? Did you obviously you're talking about when you cut, used to cut the turtleneck and put it on, right? Well, no, that's what poor people like us did. Oh, that's what we did. Wait, yeah, that's, that's what, what my you mom and did. I did my, when that's we were what my mom up. did. My mom used to cut <laughs> yes, turtlenecks. Your mom was like, oh, you want a mock turtleneck? Is that really like, happened to you? I swear to God, dude. I was like, I didn't even know. Uh, matter of fact, no, I'm, I'm just, so bro, I'm just learning right now that they exist in any other way. I swear to God, I didn't know there were mock turtlenecks. All I knew is my mom used to cut turtlenecks and be like, here you go, wear this. I'm like, all right, this is awesome. And I was sixth grade, I used to show up with my yellow sweater on Wait. with a white mock turtleneck. Dude, I think my sixth grade picture, I'll see if I can find it. Sixth grade picture is oh, me with a mock I think I can see it in my head that you're wearing a mock turtleneck. Dude, mock turtleneck. Wait, but so, wait, wait, your mom cut White it. sweater. Like, was she good? Was I mean, she no, like no, yellow sweater. What? Wait, so, well, like, was it crinkly or did she do a good no, nice no, line? No, dude, she would cut it like, it was like a half shirt. So I'd be like, <laughs> if I took my shirt off, I'd be like, what the hell's, what, what the hell's he wearing? I is... had a half shirt underneath. Unbelievable. <laughs> we didn't, even, we didn't prepare this, everybody. We really didn't. Dude, I hate mock turtlenecks because I hate, I, I've never met a person wearing a mock turtleneck who wasn't an asshole. <laughs> That's really, dude. Well, yes, you were, dude. I was definitely not an asshole and I wore them. I mean, I grew up on Long Island. There's a lot of like, yeah, rich, dude. You, you know what? You know what you grew, you know what you grew up with. You grew up with the kids with the sweater, the country club kids with the sweater that was yes. twisted like this. They I got the khaki shorts the on with the Ralph Lauren polos. You're like, yes. all right, man. What's up oh, with these dude, dudes? This kid, dude, wait, kids, remember? This kid's remember? twelve. You just said Ralph Lauren pol polos. Oh, you told that story once about how your mom got you like some fucking fake. Yeah, Ralph no, she, dude, she got me Knights of the Round Table, dude. And I thought it was. It was like it has the armor on it with the freaking guy with the yeah. spear. And you're like, and you're like, it's got a spear instead of a yeah, polo. yeah. The guy and I told my buddies at lunch, I'm like, hey, check so out my good. Ralph Lauren polo. They're like, no, it isn't, dude. The guy's got a freaking, he's got his un un armor suit on with a, with a <laughs> spear. He's like, jow the guy's jousting. The guy's jousting. <laughs> And I'm like, and 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 the, and they're like, that's not that, that's not a that's not a mallet on a horse. I'm like, you're right, right dude. Yeah. That's not classic. By the way, how stupid so, do you have to be to get on a horse? Is somebody? Yeah. It's one of the dumbest about, things. Oh no, no, the Prince stuff. Well, we were talking the other day because you know yeah. Anderson, you know my wife's boss interviewed Prince Harry the other night, which greatest ratings in a history of he was in dropping history. Yeah. So what do you of, think? Uh, that show. What do you think that about called? that? Wait, wait, wait. What's that show called? Uh, 60, 60 Minutes. 60 Minutes. Oh, what do I think about Prince Harry? Like, what do you think about the whole royal family and stuff? Like, the, that whole thing, like, it's what are we doing? Question. It's 2023 what? and we're still like, hey, there's the queen, there's the prince. Like, let's clean it up. Let's I go. agree with that. I agree with that. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Wait, I, I don't wait, know. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do this. Are you Prince Harry guy or are you a Prince? Uh, what's the other fucking guy's name? His... Prince William. William. Are you a Harry? Like are you Prince, Team like Harry, Harry or Team William? Team Harry or Team William? Listen, I'm Team Harry because like he was like in the military front lines, like actually Bro. wanted to, and and that that's why for me I'm like this guy yes. is real. He's like in the fight. I think I tend to agree, dude. There's a video where he's being interviewed and he's on like an army base. In, yeah. In, in wherever he was. Have you ever seen this video where all of a sudden, like, this noise happens in the background and he's doing an interview and he's being the prince, but he's in his, like, fatigues, whatever, and he's on an army fucking base. And all of a sudden, like, this noise pops in the background and he turns and he sees all of his freaking, uh, the other soldiers running towards yeah. his. You know, what do we say? Wait, who is it, Brian? The, the Navy SEALs. Yeah. Who's the Navy SEALs? Mark Devine. Mark Devine was Mark like, Devine, run we run towards, towards the, the fire. We run yeah. towards the fire. Yeah, yeah. He turned and he rips, he rips off like, you know, like the headset and whatever you get yeah. a pack, you know, you've done that. Yeah, time He to ripped go. it all off and just sprinted out of the interview to go jump into the fire. So that's why I love him, number one. I don't know about Megan. 
I still don't know I, about Megan. However, I, did you see the documentary? I can't believe we've gone this down this road, but I'm really into this. So let's, <laughs> let's, let's stay in this lane. Bella doesn't like Harry. Um, <laughs> did you did you watch the documentary? No, I heard about it. I, I, I'm not, dude. I'm really not into this stuff. But I, I I'm, I'm into. I like Harry. Like I, I like Harry. I, I like That's his red him. hair. You know, I think he's got some Irish roots in there. No doubt about ginger? it. Ginger. I liked Princess Diana. I thought she was awesome. She was cool. I thought the queen was kind of cool. I thought. Yeah, the I think queen the queen's cool. cool. The queen's got unbelievable, like you know, pedigree. You know what I'm saying? Right, She's a kid. Move let's move on. This is great. This is great. <laughs> let's move on. I'm going to start with one thing. You have. Dude, that might be more interesting. What? <laughs> so, uh, Will Lynch, former, God damn it, Bella. Are you hearing What's this? wrong? What's wrong? Bella she, is an asshole. She just barks she at me. I'm because here, when she barks, I go and get her cheese and I put it in a freaking Kong. You know what a Kong is? Whatever. You, you feed your door. dog cheese? Yeah, she's good. She's in shape. She fucking runs around a lot. No, cheese right. is good for you, dude. Cheese is good for you. I give her cheese and peanut butter. Do you have to go get get Bella what cheese? What do I do, Sean? What do I do well, right now? Listen, why don't I take it here? I'll start talking about a couple things. You go get okay. Bella some cheese, and I'll start ripping some stuff. All right? All right, go. All right, see go. You. All right, I'll see you in a couple minutes. Get that cheese in there, baby. Nothing like some good cheese. All right. Well, you know, I'm going through the headlines, everybody. And uh, Nelson Cruz... Nice little sign here. This is a uh, good old, good old AJ Preller and the Padres decide uh, they want Nelson Cruz, who could still rake the boomstick. Still, he's forty-two years old, but still getting it done. Carlos Correa, big deal. Uh, press conference signed back with the uh, signed back with the Twins, and uh, you know, and he and I like the quote that he said. Um, he said, hey, it's something I can't control, perception and all that. But through that whole month when people were speculating, I was running sprints. I was working out. I was taking grounders. I was hitting. So he's saying the bottom line is he's healthy. He's thrilled to be back with the Twins. The Twins needed him, as we said yesterday. Great sign back with the Twins. So Correa's healthy. He doesn't care about the reports. Let's go. He's looking to get it. Michael Conforto, too. This is interesting. Hasn't signed on with anybody yet, but he's ready to go. Um Came in back from that shoulder surgery, I, I believe, and he's working out. He's ready to sign with somebody. So we'll see. No, that's not true. That's a bad reporting, guys. He did sign a two-year deal, $36 million with the Giants. See, when I go off by myself, boom, I mess up a signing. But, yeah, that's right. Conforto, two years, 36. He was in an interview here saying he's ready to get things back. He's his, his, his relit the fire because he's been hurt, because his shoulder's been bad, and bam, he's back as Chinch is back. Chinch, I just made a report that Conforto hadn't signed yet. Turns out he oh. had. We re reported that like three weeks ago. No, but we did. We told the whole story. Wait. Two years, 36 mil. So That's what you're talking about? All right. Uh, wait, here, real well, I was quick. Just, I was trying to go down the highlights. Wait, let me stop you down real quick. So this is a Kong. I hope you did good stuff. I'm, I'm sure whatever you said was good. So this is what's called a Kong. So I put the cheese in the Kong. All right. Ready? It's fucking God. All right. So I put the cheese in the Kong. Bella goes up on the couch. Come here, Bella. Okay. Come on. All right. Chinch is taking the Kong over to the couch. Bella goes on the couch, Case. There goes Bella the here, dog. Bella. Get up there. Okay. So, you so then I gotta keep Macy. Come here, Macy. You lay down over there. <laughs> lay down. Look, see? This Look is this. Macy, it's, by it's the way, so... Macy's humongous. What kind of dog's Macy? Macy's a mix. That's a huge dog. She's she, she, Macy's and Macy's a beast, dude. Look at her. That's a huge dog right She's there. in great shape. She's so cute though, right? Right, Macy? You just give me a kiss. Thank you. Thank you. So anyway. All right, finish your uh, Conforto story. I'm sorry, everybody, for screwing. No, up. no, no. I finished the Conforto story. I was saying I was, oh, okay. I was, go I was going off. Anyway, it's a long story. Also, too, bro, <laughs> uh, looks like the Met. The Mets are looking at McCutcheon. That would be a nice sign, huh? Ooh. Yeah, the Mets are looking at McCutcheon, I which I McCutcheon. think that'd be great. And dude, he's great for any clubhouse. By the way, he still hits. Is... He can still hit a freaking baseball, right? Oh, he can still hit. He can still run too. Yeah, he can still hit. He can still run. He can still catch. Yep. The Met, and, and the Met, the Mets are doing a lot of oh, stuff. That's They're a also, great Met. He would be a McC great Met. He would McCutcheon look like would be a good great. Met. And also Zach Britton. They're looking at Zach Britton, lefty out of the pen. Well, let's wait. Let's stop there. How much money did they just save? Three hundred million dollars. Yeah. So now they're looking to and, open up, open it up. Yeah, and their owner has three hundred million dollars that he's 
yeah. easily willing to spend because he didn't care about his own tax. Like there's a tax named after the guy in baseball. That's a, actually, what else do you do? If you have $300 million and you own the Mets and you didn't give it to. Yeah, you want to spend it. You so who are you going to spend it on? Let's see who else is out there. I love, first of all, that's, McCutcheon's a great idea. Britain's yeah. a great idea. Yeah, that's not, that. those are Let's do not this. bad signs. Keep thinking. Also, Chinchi, I got another thing too. Go ahead, bro. But remember we asked, remember we talked about the other day who the Dodgers are going to play it short? And yes. Like, oh, they're going to give it to Gavin Lutch? Nope. They they just traded from Miguel Rojas from the Marlins to the Dodgers. He's going to play Ooh. shortstop. Good player. Can hit a little bit. Oh, hey, Off I saw this last night, and I'm looking at it right now. Giants going after Gary Sanchez. Catcher. Oh, I still think he's untapped, dude. No, I, no, he's no. Dude, he he you is who he is. Good. No, he is who he is. Because because here's the deal, bro. Mentally, if you're putting up the numbers he's putting up, mentally you are who you are. So like it's like Gregory Polanco in Pittsburgh. Hey man, this guy's the next Daryl Strawberry, the next Willie Stargell. No, he's the next Gregory Polanco. He can't. His <laughs> his ups and downs are way too long. He doesn't know how to respond quickly. He he can't go pitch by pitch. He goes week by week. It's the end of the day. So Gary Sanchez, hey, he's going to hit you 25 home runs. He's going to hit you 220. He is what he is. He's not going to all of a sudden get going and be like, oh, this is, you know, I really got, I really got this uh, locked in. Unless, you know, unless you're working on your mental game. I'm serious. I like unless he's analysis. working on his mental Great game, job. learning how to have a better yep. process, that's the whole difference. So, no, Gary Sanchez is Gary Sanchez. He is what he is. Back of the baseball card doesn't lie. Well done. All right, I'm going to give you a name right now that I think is going to be on the opposite end of the spectrum as that hard-hitting analysis you just did because I would take this guy on my team. I don't care what team I have. I don't care if I have somebody that plays this position. Josh Harrison, bro. He's oh, out love jo Dude, love Josh dude. Harrison, dude. Gamer, right? So, guy's a ga okay, guy's so you a just gamer. talk about Gary Sanchez, like the mental preparation, whatever. Talk to me about what you like about Josh Harrison right now. Dude, I love Josh Harrison. He can play all over the place. He can play third. He can play second. He can probably play all the outfield positions if you if you needed him to. High energy guy. He was, you know, um, he was in Pittsburgh here for a while, so I got a chance to like cross paths with him a couple times, and I just love the way he plays the game, man. He brings a lot to the table. Guys love him, and uh, he can still play, man. He can still hit a little bit, and he can still play pick it over there. Uh, I'd love Jay. Wherever Josh Harrison goes is is a good good play for uh, for whoever I like wants that. that. I, dude, I love him, man. He he posts up, right? Is that what you guys say? You yeah, post. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah, posts post. up. Wait, hold on. I'm going to say somebody right now. I just want to make sure this guy has not signed because I I'm surprised. Trey Mancini is still sitting there, Sean. Wouldn't you take Trey Mancini on your team? Yeah, he'd be a great sign, dude. Trey Mancini rakes. He rakes he a decent... he's a good guy, and he survived cancer like me, so I'm a big fan. Yeah, great he's guy. Only 30. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, he hasn't... He's had a little struggles from, like, 2020. Last year, he didn't have the greatest year, but he played for Baltimore and Houston. He moved around a lot. Let's go back to 2019, bro. Ready? Here's Trey Mancini in 2019. 291 batting average. Yeah. 364 on base. How about 35 homers and 97 ribbies? Yeah, is that good? How about 154 games played? I love games played. I think yeah, that's a yeah, big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a big deal. Who gets Trey Mancini? Who, if you're, how about Pittsburgh? Like, what are you doing, Pittsburgh? Go get Trey Mancini. He'll be the face of that franchise, and then you can trade the other dude. <laughs> Brian Seriously. Reynolds. Brian Reynolds. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. I don't you're think Brian? people want to go to Pittsburgh, bro. You don't think they do? If they have other options, why would you want to go to Pittsburgh? You know what you're getting. You're going to be 70 and 92, and you're going to keep saying you're rebuilding and trying to get it, you know. So. Oh, but to be clear, explain that the city of Pittsburgh is a wonderful city to live oh, in, right? The city of Pittsburgh. You just said, incredible. why would anybody want to go to Pittsburgh? You live oh, in Pittsburgh I'm saying like your the, entire I'm life. I'm saying if you're a free agent <laughs> to go to the Pirates. Right. Dude, the city of Pittsburgh is incredible. And what's incredible about Pittsburgh is this is a baseball city, dude. People Absolutely. don't. People don't know that. People think it's a Steelers city, a Penguin city. No. For Go back and watch that years, wild card game. Go back and, and watch the wild card game, dude. A dude but, jumped off a bridge after they won because they were so excited yeah. about baseball. I mean, <laughs> remember? When you, yeah, yeah. No, I'm. I know. But when you go back, dude, you got Willie Stargell, Clemente, oh. Ralph Kiner, Steve Blass, Honus Wagner, uh, Dave Parker. 
the Bill Mazeroski, you know, all those, all those great players. Barry Bonds you know, is pretty good. Uh, Barry Bonds, Bobby Bonilla, Andy Van Slyke, uh, Doug Drabeck, you know, Cy Young 92. Dude, it's a huge baseball city. And I think that's what irks people about the Pirates not being good. Because right. the history of the Pirates is off the charts here, man. If they win in Pittsburgh, they come out. And, you know, we talked about that 2013, the Johnny Cueto game that's when beautiful. everyone's chanting Cueto. It's a blackout. So, no, I'm saying coming to Pittsburgh is incredible. But right now, where they're at, no, as you're you a free agent, you're going to use that. That's going to be the last thing you, last place you go, I buy that. which is a shame. Good stuff. Good point, man. Yeah. And, yes, by the way, everybody, Sean loves Pittsburgh. It's his, it's his home. He loves it. It's his, where his heart's at. Um, all right, so you got what do you got? You're busy today, huh? Bella's being asked. Yeah, what do I got? I got I just got some suits made, some new suits. My man David Allen makes the best suits out there. It makes John Cena's suits. That's all I need to know. And what? He's coming to, oh dude, this guy David Allen makes you know has a lot of people in the in the hook, but he's a great guy. I've known him for years when he first started the company, David Allen suits, great stuff. So I got three new Wait, suits. Wait, hold on. Is David Allen American or Canadian? Because I have a follow up to this. No, he's Go American. Ahead. He's American. Okay. Yeah, and he's got these new like stretchy suits that I just bought. I'm all excited, and they're not that expensive. You're like four hundred right. bucks. Oh, see, that's legit. a big difference from what I'm about to bring up. Bella, shut oh. the hell up. Jess is up now, so I'm letting Bella bark. So, here, Dempster, Ryan Dempster. Yeah. Who wears better suits than Ryan Dempster? They're like they're, out of game, freaking yeah, troll, ridiculous. right? Like, yeah, Dempster everything. The best. Everything yeah. matches. He always has like an actual uh, what is that oily yeah. thing that you put in there? Bro, he gets his suits from a Canadian guy. Because obviously, if you guys don't know Ryan Dempster, he's Canadian and very proud of it. Shut up, Bella. Uh, and he gets his suits. He told me this from uh, Lundquist. Remember the Rangers' former goalie? Yeah, Vern yeah. Lundquist. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait. Lundquist. Wait, 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 am I Ver, wrong? Wait, am I wait, wrong? Ver, no, no, Vern oh, Lundquist. Vern Lundquist was, 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 a great, yeah, was in the booth. Glasses yeah, he was, in the, he was in the booth. <laughs> wait, hold on. Derek, Derek Lundquist. Oh, no, I, I'm, no, I'm not no. messing this up. I'm from no. New York. I can't. Rangers goalie. <laughs> we have five minutes left, guys. We're getting out of here. Don't. Henrik, Henrik, Henrik. Henrik Lundquist. 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 Heinrich. 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 Well, but they called him Henrik, I think. Okay. Anyway, he's a really good goalie. He's might maybe one of the best ever. So Dempster connected with him because he saw his suits like on TV or something. And Lundquist hooked him up with uh his suit guy. But they're not four hundred dollars like you. I'm I'm outing Dempster right now. I think Dempster pays like fucking I don't know. Five G's per suit, bro. Well, I, I think about I mean, if you got like if you got like a ketchup stain on a five thousand dollars suit, wouldn't you just like just kill yourself? Like, like I yeah, couldn't, would be I terrible, couldn't walk dude. around in a suit that expensive. Dude, no, no, no. That's why my man David Allen's got the best suits and for the right <laughs> price. Seriously, I remember. Oh, dude, tell this story really quick, and then we can say goodbye. I remember you, Larkin, yeah, and a couple and other guys. Michael Tucker going to the suit shop in no, New no, York. No. There, no, 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 bro. That place by MLB Network, there was like this shady, it was a shady <laughs> oh, mall, bro. And you guys were all going there. And I'm looking at you freaking millionaires and you were getting like like $75 suits, like three suits, 75 bucks a piece. And I'm it like, it was so shady. You guys are I was millions of dollars, you cheap sons of Dude, cheap. I blame Lark. <laughs> I blame Lark. I was he following Lark. Lark's one of the cheapest guys going. I was like, hey, Lark, where are you getting your suits? He's like, right down the road in Secaucus, there's back alley. <laughs> You know, they get three or four hundred. Like Wait, God, you ever dude, see like... Goodfellas? You know in Goodfellas towards the end when things are getting screwed yeah, up? Yeah, And De Niro's like, tells, <laughs> tells, tells what's his name's wife? Like, hey, come over here. Come over here in the alley. I got the suits right here. And she's like, I don't want to go in there. That's where you guys went and got your suits. It was Robert De Niro sitting in a corner of like a street. And you guys were picking him off a shelf. I'm so embarrassed dude, for all of you. Dude, you I'm, embar I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for myself too. And some of those suits looked like Goodfellas, like the <laughs> striped yeah, like, brown, yeah. st yellow stripes. Shoulder like I come pads. On air. I come on air like shoulder pads. I look like a, I look like the San Diego Padres back in '84. <laughs> so good. I'll never forget it. I remember. I was like, I was oh like, I don't know, what was that? I was like 29, 30. Well, why don't you say life. something, bro? One time and be like, what are you doing, Case? I'm like, I'm following Lark's lead. <laughs> I was trying to get. A, I was trying to make a career for myself. I was going to no. turn to the you, you dude, famous people and go, "Hey, by the way, you're buying the cheapest, shittiest suits 
and you guys look like shit on camera. I wasn't going to say that at 30. Now, you know, I, I'm going to be 45 in two weeks. Now, yeah. if I, if now I, now you're going to say it. Now Sean, you're you going to say like it. Fucking shit. <laughs> That suit's a joke. You go yeah, but now I got the good suits, bro. David Allen. I, I, I know. Right. I'm not Allen. even. He's, David Allen's not sponsors, but I think DavidAllen.com and get some good suits. Did try these new suits, change Four ninety nine <laughs> stretch suits. They're freaking legit. That's so good. It's incredible. I love this show, man. John I love Cena you. buys. John Cena buy has bought like four hundred suits off him. I'm not kidding. Four hundred. John Cena buys four hundred dollars suits from. No, David no, no, Allen. no, no, no. Not I David Allen. Four hundred suits. No. 400 he also has top of the line ones dude that are three four thousand dollars five you can go wherever you want cena buys those i buy the four hundred dollar ones cena buys the four thousand dollar ones four hundred of them bro oh my god four hundred expensive thing you own right now in your house right now is it the cold plunge cold plunge no uh how much was the cold plunge sean uh i own this thing called a biocharger you ever heard of this thing no let's go so it's goodbye. like uh it, it's like it brings off like pulse electromagnetic frequencies like um light gas it's like four different you know you know me dude my health stuff yeah yeah it's an expensive it's an expensive piece what it, it, will you get that from like sharper image how do you no, find bro, that? sharper image how about biocharger is the only place you can get it dude it's legit dude sharper image is no joke don't don't sharper Put image is where you up. get the howard stern fart machine bro <laughs> no sharper image is when you get oh yeah you get a really like nice chair that that's right, right. That yeah that breaks that breaks after a week that breaks it's after terrible. a week or you get yeah. like and a, you can't return it yeah or you get like a lighter that can uh light your whole whole house but it breaks yeah. after a week everything yeah. at sharper image <laughs> breaks no dude the, 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 the store i'm thinking about is called spencer's did you have that back in the day spencer's yes so or that's where it? you got yeah this that's where you got the, the howard stern fart no the howard stern fart machine oh Remember that when you used to put it in like the, in the plant of in the course. mall and a yeah. guy would walk by and be like, Pfft. Oh my and God. You, and I the guy would look uh, around and me and my buddies would be like, ah, dying laughing in the corner. Dude. My niece is obsessed with whoopee cushions, dude. That's dude. the new thing. There's whoopee cushions everywhere in my family. Why, why are farts so funny, bro? Cause they're, they're just funny, are. dude. They're, they're really funny. funny. They're farts. very funny. Dude. Yeah. When I was in high school, this would be the last story. So when I was in high school, I never, so in my high school was really like, it was hardcore, dude. It was almost like going to a military academy. You got like demerits and you would get, uh, you would either get a green slip or a red slip. Red slip means you're in trouble. Green slip means you have detention after school. Now, I mean, you and I both know the only thing that kept me from being a maniac when I was a kid was I played sports. So I played football, basketball, and baseball. Right. So every season you get detention. You can't go to practice. You right. can't go to practice. You can't play that week. Like, <laughs> so I was always terrified of getting in trouble. <laughs> I'm going to tell the story super quick. So I'm sitting there. Don't forget high school. Remember high school, dude. Remember sitting those wood yeah, those chairs, chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the, you know, the thing comes dude, out. Vi vi vibrate, just vibration Bro. to the, to the umpteenth degree. And I'm not. I don't know if you are. I'm not. My dad was a guy. Who was like, hold on, turn the TV down. I think I hear thunder. And he'd be like, <laughs> and we'd be like. And and I don't know, it just embarrassed me. I was never like a making fun of farts thing. And it's not, it wasn't a thing for me. It as made a you uneasy. It made you uneasy. A it lot of boys, bear. you know, a lot of yeah. boys are really dirty with us. Dude, I'm sitting in this, in this class one day and we had, on Fridays, we had pizza. And it was basically like, what is that? Ent not Entenmann's. What was Elio's? Yeah. Basically Elio's. So on Fridays, I would get like nine pieces of freaking Elio's pizza. And so I'm sitting in, and this is one fucking teacher, and it was a Catholic boys' school, all boys. So farts just were blowing out everywhere for an all boys' school. There's nothing like it, like there's nobody to be embarrassed about. And so I'm sitting there, and this freaking bro, and so it was priests and brothers. This one brother's fat son of a bitch. I really didn't like him. I gotta be honest. So he's standing there. He used to go, gentlemen, silence will fall over this room like a velvet blanket, suffocating air. And I'll be sitting there like, this guy is such a jerk. And so, of course, now one day we're sitting there, we're in a class, everybody's quiet. It was like a study hall thing. And I'm sorry, dude, I had four slices of Elio's. <laughs> and it, it, it was like nature taking its course. I just went like, <clears throat> but on those vibrate. chairs, bro. Right, right, right. It's not like, blah, 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 blah. it sounded like the horns in like, like uh, yeah. I got, fuck it. he tries to give me detention. He goes, he, he gave did. me a green slip. He gave me a green slip. 
And I was like, no, it was my senior year. And I was like, I've never gotten detention ever, brother. So, like, so what happened? I, I went to the dean of <laughs> brother Tom was the dean of uh, <laughs> what is that? Dean of this dean of discipline. <laughs> In my high school, there was a dean of discipline. That's how, <laughs> That's shady, so ridiculous. how horrible my high school was, like how difficult it was. Dean of discipline, brother Tom. Siri, <laughs> I love you, brother. You're a good guy. I know him well now. I'm like, brother Tom, I've never done anything in my life. I'm like, some get some air came out of my ass. Yeah, you're, like, him, you're like nine slices of Elios. Yeah, it, I go, some air it, came it, out of my things ass. Things are gonna I didn't go wrong. On purpose. I wasn't trying to interrupt the class. Yeah. He took the green slip away. I wound up that year getting the uh award for uh conduct, the conduct award in my high school, because I never got detention, never got green <laughs> slip, never oh, it was a gray slip was the other one. Dude, anyway, that's one, that. that's one got, thing to fight to for. Yeah. Well, dude, that's one thing to fight for. I got one quick story for going oh, down good. this road. Good. Dude, a cu couple years ago when COVID was like right in the middle of COVID, and they were just letting people back in mass. And it was like, you know, it was like every other pew, right? So I go in there, I meet my dad at mass. We're, we're, we're in there, and, and like, I think I just had like a big omelet in the morning, met, took my kids, <laughs> cooked my kids to breakfast, you know? Yeah. So it was one of those things as you're getting older, sometimes, you know, you don't know what's going to oh, happen. So, happens. dude, yeah, so yeah, we're in there, we're, we're, the, the priest comes in, he's like, let's just have a moment of silence, <laughs> moment of silence for all the people with COVID. And so we just lock in, you know, COVID? I put my head. Wait, wait, COVID? This is like, dude, this is ago? COVID. This is a couple of years ago, dude. I'm telling you, right, right oh, when they, let's go. COVID's right when they, it was like the second mass to let people back. It was like a big deal, oh. but it was every other <laughs> pew, right? And it was, it, and everyone was nervous. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's got six masks on. No one knows of COVID. Everyone's scared of everybody. Like no one's shaking hands. No one's doing it, let alone, you know, no one's ripping them in front of people again, but no one's doing that stuff. So I'm in there, bro. No, I meet my dad. Could, we thought a fart could kill somebody at that time. Exactly. Uh, in the yeah, you know, COVID. COVID's coming out your butt so anyway so anyway we're, we're 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 in the pew it's just me and my dad in this one pew we take out the whole pew and like next thing you know no one's in the next pew but then there's a couple people next to you like no one's really at mass like everyone's still scared of covid so we lock down the priest is like hey everyone like before we get going here before we get the our father let's uh put, put our heads down for a moment of silence for all the people suffering <laughs> from covid so I, I put my head down and like all of a sudden I'm like it, it, dude, you can hear a pin drop. It, it's so quiet. And all of a sudden, like, it was you. Oh, it was me, dude. It comes flying out. Now, no one can tell it's me because everyone's got their heads down. Everyone's got their heads down. And I'm like, and I'm, I start sweating. You know how you oh, fart? You know when yes. you fart from people? I still, dude, hot flashes. I start profusely sweating now. Like, oh my God, I can't oh believe that. Just, can't believe this is happening. And I and I kind of and I kind of like was Sarah my, with you? Was Sarah sitting next? No, to you? no, no. It's just me and my dad. I kind of oh. picked my head up, and what I did was I kind of looked at my dad like, "All right, the eighty-year-old did it, man. This guy can't control himself. I can't ah, believe my dad. Put it on your dad." So I started putting it on my dad, like, oh. and I gave I gave I gave one of the fake faces, like, "Oh man, that's disgusting." Ah. <laughs> that's such a good story. Wait, hold on. Can I tell one more quick one? Super quick one before we yeah. go, like a yeah. minute. Okay. Our first time out, it's funny, you say COVID and farts, this all comes together, this is how this show works. Dude, our first time out, me and Jess, it was either, shit, Elton John or Billy Joel at the freaking, and we're at the garden, dude, and I think, no, I think it was Elton John's last show, whatever, long story short, we're standing there, we're in our seats, it's our first time out, and now we're with 35,000 people. Yeah. And we're terrified, just the way you said. Everybody forgets. Yeah, everyone's terrified. Freaking yeah. crazy that was. <clears throat> uh, and these two women were sitting next to us. They were very nice, but they were like very earthy. They were they were like like they were like they smoked a joint right next to us, and and right. they were like in their sixties. Very cool though. But they, oh my god, Jess just texted me. It was Billy Joel. She hears me upset. <laughs> she goes, "It's Billy Joel." Okay, if you're talking about the COVID fart, Jess just texted me. If you're talking about the COVID fart, it was Billy Joel. Okay. This is so good. Was it Jess? Was it Jess? No, no, it wasn't Jess. It wasn't you, Jess. So, dude, listen. So we're sitting there and we're like standing there, we're dancing, we're finally out. And remember how excited you were when you were out and there were people around. And oh yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't masks. There were still masks here and there. These women are standing next to us and we're dancing. All of a sudden, I swear to God, dude, my freaking eyebrows fell off of my face. <laughs> it was the worst smelling, and and it was like you remember in Scooby Doo when he would smell a scent and he would you could see the the you could see yeah. the uh aroma and he would like float and go do it dude 
this fucking fart from this woman came over us and you could see it you wait, could wait, feel was it? it definitely her was it, it definitely was one of those one women? million percent her okay and i turned to jess and i go did we just get covid did you have a mask on wait jess just jess is texting me listening upstairs and she goes <laughs> it lingered for two and a half songs <laughs> this fart smelled so bad and it was physically around us and i swear and this woman she was like five two like little uh I don't know, a little lady. Yeah. Dude, I looked at her and she caught eyes with me. And I know she knows what she did to me. I swear to God. Three days later, <laughs> me and Jess had COVID. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you this as God is my witness. You're, uh, you're, this woman's fart. She gave you farted COVID? COVID into our mouths. <laughs> we ate it. We swallowed it. Jess just texted me from upstairs. A hundred percent. This God. woman's fart gave us COVID. Oh and I'm, I hope she's somewhere. She knows it too. She knew it too. Case, I looked into her eyes and I'm like, you just farted COVID oh. in my mouth. <laughs> so on that note, let's end the show, I think. Right? Dude, wait, I got one more. One more. <laughs> okay. Dude, what about, I was flying to the winter meetings out in San Diego and it's, you know, yeah. Big dude sits next to me. No big deal. What's up, man? How's it going? He just starts sweating profusely, and I'm sitting next to him like, ah, oh, it's no big deal. You know, yeah. they come around in first class. They order, you know, you want the omelet? You want the ham? You want the, you know, the guy gets the ham and, you know, yeah. sausage omelet or whatever. Like about 30 minutes later, bro, this guy just starts, <laughs> I think it's him. I'm pretty sure it is, but just dropping nukes on me. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. But I'm a little uneasy because I'm like, I'm reading my book, and I'm like, Am I supposed to say something to this guy? Like, come on, man. And now he's sleeping. He's snoring against the window. He's just, <laughs> and he's just like, it's like, you hear, <laughs> and you're like, oh, come on. Oh but it's God. like, you know, when you're on flight, sometimes you're in your, and you, you know, someone and like, no one, no one's moving. Yeah, it's a petri you, dish and everybody's a petri dish. On a yeah. Plane. All right. I digress on that one, but that's the truth. That's oh. the truth. That really happened. These are all real stories. All right, brother. I got to bounce. I love you. Everybody out there, thanks. Stu, have a great day. Stu's nice grabbing you right now. Yeah, you know, Stu, probably. Look, look at this. Stu's all over. Yeah. Dude. yeah. Hey, man. Right. Love you, Chanchi. Everybody out there, thanks Douglas. for listening. Hey. Love you guys. By the way, we have a teammate now, Gemini 3. We have a teammate right now. That's right. We just signed up with Gemini 3, new yeah. platform. I have Let's no go. idea. I have no idea what that means. Casey's girlfriend, Sarah, is the biggest badass, and she set the contract it means, up. It means it's they're going to help us out, baby. It's gonna, okay. They're going to help grow us. They're going to help grow us. Yeah, so go Google yeah. Gemini 3. That's our partner right now. And Yeah. yeah. Let's go. As, as, as me and Sean always say, whatever percentage percentage of zero is, is fine with me. <laughs> exactly, dude. All right, All right Chichi, love, you, love you, bro. I'll catch you, man. All right, see you.